Good morning, ESM. Today is Thursday, May 10th, and today's a B-Day. I'm Brandon Kelly, and I'm here with your morning announcements. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day on this uh, Thursday. Um, we are experiencing some technical difficulties, so just uh, give us a little bit of time to sort those out. Uh, not the best of days out, but I uh, hope everyone can enjoy it. It's an alright day. It's an alright day? It's an alright day. Okay, alright. Oh, there day. we go. Alright, we're back. Seniors, this is your last chance. Please be sure to submit your graduation walk participation form to Miss Floridia by tomorrow if you have not done it already. The junior high end of the year dance is scheduled for Friday, May 18th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 and will be on sale from Monday, May 7th through Friday, May 11th during your lunch period or after school only in the junior high office. You must have a signed permission slip in order to be able to purchase a ticket. The theme of the dance is summertime, so dress in your summer best. There will be a mandatory meeting for all 7th and 8th grade student government officers today at 2.15 in room 1529 to discuss the upcoming end of the year dance. Attention grades 8 through 11. Electric packets to run for student government positions are available in room 1517. Completed packets are due May 18th. Any questions, please see Mrs. Ebel in room 1517. Language club will be held tomorrow in the upstairs computer lab. Now over to Andrew and Dustin with entertainment news. Good morning, Essam. Happy teacher, happy teacher Appreciation Week. I'm Andrew. And I'm Dustin, and we're here with your entertainment news. This year's Met Gala was an overall success, with an army of celebrities arriving with their best looks, hosted by a stellar lineup of Rihanna, Amal Clooney, and Donatella Versace. Every year, the Costume Institute at the Metropolitan Museum of Art hosts the Met Gala to raise money for the Institute. This year, the theme Heavenly Bodies, Fashion, and the Catholic Imagination is based on the Institute's new exhibit that looks at the influence of Catholicism in fashion. In other news, according to reports from TMZ, couple Ariana Grande and Mac Miller have split. The couple have apparently split due to busy work schedules, but they will remain close friends. They dated for nearly two years. In movie news, Marvel's future involves new franchises and more Avengers. Bob Iger says Marvel is cooking up a franchise outside of Avengers, but not to rule out more Avengers movies after. Here's an idea of what movies we will be seeing from Marvel in the next few years. Ant-Man and the Wasp is coming out on July 6th. Captain Marvel is scheduled for March for a March 2019 release. Avengers 4 is scheduled for May 2019. And another Spider-Man Homecoming is scheduled for July 2019. Dustin, how excited are you right now? Oh, you know I am very excited, I'm not going to lie. I'm more excited about Deadpool, but these movies are going to be pretty good. Also, Avengers Infinity War set another record this weekend, destroying the box office com competition and drumming up $1 billion faster than any other movie in on the books. The film crossed the billion-dollar threshold on Saturday, just 11 days after its release. Wow, that's amazing. In celebrity news, Cardi B reveals she that she's having a, a girl on the Howard Stern Show. Cardi has also discussed the baby's name and her alleged feud with Nicki Minaj on Wednesday. Cardi B says that she was never feuding with anybody after Howard Stern asked her about the Nicki Minaj conflict. In Instagram news, Long Island High School Confessions has confirmed that they go to ESM. This is some pretty big news, but the owners of the accounts say that they will not come forward yet and plan to stay anonymous for now. And now it's time for the weekly Thursday Twitter trend. Are you ready? All right, Andrew, what is trending on Twitter right now? Okay, right now on Twitter, that's trending number one. Is hashtag reasons I got grounded. Well, Dustin, we're both 18, but what is a reason that you've got grounded for? Well, as you know, I'm a perfect child, so I have never been grounded. Uh, what about you? Well, ignoring that lie, my parents came into my room and I told them to get out because I have a constitutional right to privacy. Also, happy National Shrimp Day. And now for the answer to yesterday's question of the day, have you seen Infinity War yet? We would like to give you an answer, but I forgot to pull the, put the poll up. And now for today's question of the day. If you drop soap on the floor, is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? That's, That's all, all for today, today ESM. Have a great day. I'm standing here with the Bleach Boys of ESM Varsity Baseball. 
they're having a great year and they have recently clinched the playoffs. That's why their hair is bleached. And I will be interviewing six of them, starting with Ryan Bourne. Ryan, you were having a great year on the mound. I believe 7-0 and it is. That would be true. Probably a strikingly low ERA, considering nobody can touch your nasty stuff. Uh, can you please tell me what goes through your mind when you take the mound? Step on the mound, I know I have to do a good job. Throw strikes, do my job. Uh, I have the boys behind me. Sticks good. <laughs> <laughs> they have it. Boys behind you. We're going to move over to Mike McCormick, star shortstop. Just a step under D.D. Gregorius. Um, in the field. You're the captain of the field, of course. Yep, yep. Please describe to me, why would you do this to your hair? Well, yeah, we just woke up one day, like, you know, we got to do something different, you know, change it up. Want to look a little weird, look good, too, you know? So, it's like, let's bleach your hair. So what happened. Look good, play good. I like it. Now we're over to Alex Doskos. Kid's got a nasty hook. I can't touch it. That's why I quit. Uh, how'd you get your hook to be the nastiest of hooks? It's just a